Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. The other day, Lucas C. on the Unified Scale Automotive Content Creators Facebook page put out a little bit of a challenge to the content creators uh, to tell you about uh, what is our favorite box art and why. A little story behind that. So stick around, I'll tell you about mine. Okay, guys, first of all, Luca, thank you for this challenge because it's, <laughs> it's taken me a day or two to kind of think back and, and really bring back some really great, great memories. Uh, not my first memory, but my best memories, I think, are the old monogram Tom Daniels series of cars. Um, I built everything, uh, the, let's see, the Cherry Bomb, the Tijuana Taxi. Um, I think I did two or three of the Pie Wagons. I have no clue why, but uh, that and the Red Baron, which I think we all did with a little airplane in it and all of that stuff. But the Tom Daniels stuff, uh, like I said, I think I did <laughs> at least one of every single one when they came out along with the, one of my buddies that I grew up with. Every time we had one, and we'd go get them in a set of the testers, paint sets and we just go to town on those things but a lot a lot a lot of fun um so that's the ones i think i remember from um, my childhood early on and that was again i started building models when i was six and uh, larry and i uh, just really love the Tom Daniels stuff. And we built a few other things mixed in there. And as we got a little older and started hanging around with my uncle and my dad being the hot rodders, and of course, going back before the monogram kits, my first model kit, as you may remember, is the uh, the Green Hornet, the monogram Green Hornet car. Uh, and I, I collect those, I, I probably got four or five, maybe even six of those things. Um, but that's, that's my, that was my very first model car. And, and every time I see that box art, it just brings it back. And then when I started getting, uh, nine, 10 years old, I started thinking about the race cars. And of course my, my uncle and dad were, were hot rodders. So, and so I started seeing stuff and I fell in love with socks and Martin. So, uh, you see here, uh, man, and I wish I had still had these kits and the boxes um some of them i still do but for the most part they're long gone but the socks and martin stuff was always cool and of course being a petty fan when uh johan i don't know how many of these super birds i did and of course you had the decals in there to do pete hamilton's as well so if i got one i had to get two and i, I built a lot of those things and the super bird for socks and martin that was another one that was a really hot uh, hot item for me and then uh, we started getting more and more and more into the stock car stuff and of course when the Bobby Isaac Daytona came out uh, MPC I had to have one of those and these the box art on these things was just so awesome uh, then the Super Stalker series came out and uh, I think the first one I got was the Mustang here and I remember seeing Dick Trickle actually run when I lived in Missouri uh, at the local track, the fairgrounds track at, in uh, Springfield. And uh, it's just a, a lot, great memories, great memories. Uh, then, of course, the MPC kits, uh, NASCAR kits came out. You had the uh, Jim Herdebees, I think, was the very first one I bought. Then the uh, Petty and Baker, and, of course, the, the Pure Later Mercury. And, and a lot of times... I think I, I bought every one of those things that came out at one time, but the box art was always so cool. Some of it was artist renderings, but it was action shots. And then you had the real real cars, but they did it really tastefully. And it, it was some one of those things that made you buy them. And uh, this MPC right here with the Ram Chargers Dragster and the 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 hauler the the long truck hauler there that one was just one of those things because to me at that time it was just so cool so i had to have that just because it was unique but you know a lot of these things the box art when you got a two and one three and one things like that and you see that what the options are in there man you you can you can get inspired by just the box art. And a lot of these boxes, that were the, of course, even today, they have the the race version on one side 
and the uh, stock version on the other. And it's good to see that because that way you know what's in the kit. Um, this one right here is a Koenig Testarossa. And if you know me, I'm not really into too many foreign cars. There's some of them I really like. This one I bought probably 30 years ago, and it's been started. And one of these days I'm actually going to finish. But this thing... I bought it because of the box art. I mean, look at this thing. It's not a standard Testarossa. This thing is a hopped up <laughs> street racer version, and, and it is just cool. So the box art drew me in on that one, and it's really, really a nice kit. As far as modern kits go, I think my favorite is uh, Salvino JR Models 81 Buick Regal uh, Daytona winner of Richard Petty's. And I don't know, that's just a great picture of it on the track running and uh great box art and uh salvino's always does some really good box art and narrowing it down to to my one favorite actually it wasn't all that much it, it wasn't as hard as you might think it would be because i remember looking in my dad's closet where he kept his models and and seeing these boxes and of course uh we just finished the 44 builds uh, the content creators did, and so my all-time favorite is the forty, the old AMT forty Fords, and you see on this box you've got the the sedan, and the side of the box here you had both the grill and hood for the thirty nine and the the forty, and or the standard and the deluxe, but my ultimate all-time favorite is the forty Ford coupe box, because. It's just cool with those flames, and it's got that classic look with the uh, moon discs on there. Side of the box shows the race car version, and I just, how can you not love this box? <laughs> but this one, I think, brings back the most memories between what my dad had in the closet, and I remember going into J.M. Fields, sometimes just into drugstores, and seeing this box, and of course, Dad, I gotta have it, and he knew I had, I don't know how many, but he would always, oh, all right, cave and, and let me get another one. But um, this is my all-time favorite box art right here. And there's so many, though, that bring back such memories, and great memories at that. And uh, guys in the comments, put down what your favorite was. Just just throw it out there if you've got one. And I know it's kind of hard to come up with just one. When I think back to all of the Tom Daniels that uh, I built, it was kind of hard. There, I don't know that there's a way I could even pick out one of those. But um, fun times, fun times. Look a seat. Thank you again for putting this one up. Um, I had to really think about it. And next video, we're going to be building. We're going to get back into a hot rod. Guys, thanks. If you're not a subscriber, head over, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, give us a thumbs up, and do leave a comment. I enjoy hearing from you. Guys, God bless. Have a great one. I'll see you shortly.